Hello, Melody. Hello, Maria. Hello, everyone. I'm Bruno Havelin. I'm working at EPFL in Switzerland. I am very excited that you give me the opportunity to introduce the Virandolo. So this little device that uh, we imagined as being built for virtual reality headsets. It's a little windmill that you would put on, a, on the head of the subject so that when they blow and their breath of air would be converted into virtual reality um, interaction. The idea behind that is that we want to give back the user his ability to be immersed in his own self, full with his body and with all his physiological and um, natural interaction with the world, and not only manually grasping and holding objects. The idea behind that is that me working as a researcher in bodily consciousness and embodiment, uh, we are showing that the more this technology evolves, the better it becomes at providing users with the ability to really embody a character, an avatar, and that is, is not only interaction in VR. So this example of breathing, breathing is, um, is a good example because it is a very spontaneous yet controlled ability to interact with the world with a, at the same time a vital need. So how does it work with this Verandola? So I can just show you a little video where you see what it does. So you can see you got the guy with head mounted display and he is blowing air which makes the turbine turn and in this funny example it's really proof of concept it makes air flow on the face of the little woman in front so that she, she, the more strong you blow the more wind she has uh, i can show you also how it looks like when we um, have different uh, setups so voila you see here normally the the different uh, the web page where you can have a look at what it uh, looks like and different steps for building it the idea being that you can make your own viandola and interface it with your virtual reality world so it's different piece and bits and pieces a little microcontroller and all that is uh, easy to do because you have actually a manual a tutorial which shows how to do that. So the idea of a workshop is let people play with that and assemble and make their own device. Everything is shared, this code is open source obviously and uh, you can just have to program your little microcontroller so that at the end you can receive data even we give an example of how to receive data on Unity 3D. So with that, I thank you for your attention on this uh, Virandola project. With uh, Melody, we want to make it interacting together with an art exhibit in uh, Hana Hana. And uh, this is where we need uh, people to play with us on this new interface and see where we can go. Thank you and goodbye.